Society often tries to dictate what we should do, how we should act, and what success should look like. But true fulfillment and success do not come from following the crowd. They come from carving your own path. So today I want to explore why rejecting the norm is something you should consider to live a life true to yourself and how you can start forging your own unique path. Firstly, I want to start with the dangers of following the crowd and doing what everyone else does. The first point is that conformity kills creativity. When you conform to so societal uh, norms and expectations, you destroy your creativity and uniqueness. The pressure to fit in will just lead you to suppress your true desires, your true goals, your true ambitions, and your talents, resulting in a life that feels unfulfilling and inauthentic. And the second point is living someone else's dream. By following the path laid out by others, you risk living a life that isn't truly yours, whether it's pursuing a career that you do not want, a lifestyle that you do not want, or setting values that you do not actually align with who you are, you may find yourself chasing goals that don't actually bring you happiness. I see this a lot in the modern day with these people like Andrew Tate and you know, um, just these basically rich people online who are influencing so many children. And now a lot of these children just, they just wanna be rich. They don't care about anything else anymore. They don't care about you know their health, their sleep, their body. They, they don't care about anything. And they just think, okay, well, how can I do the most amount of work to make as much money? Because I need $1 million by 2025, you know? This is such a toxic way to live life because you're only thinking about one part of life. I'm not saying money is bad or making money is bad or having a goal to make money is bad, but rather I think no goal, no goal should be your sole focus in life. I think you should be still working on multiple things. It's just also with sacrifice, it, most things are not worth sacrificing your entire life for. So sacrificing your health physically and mentally your sleep, your uh, relationships, sacrificing all those things for money, again, or, uh, or even a different thing, right? For me, personally, it's not worth it. But if, if that is what you want to do, and that was actually your desire, not something that you just saw on social media, you know, because you see these Bugattis and rich people with these cool cars and these whatever, those things shouldn't be motivating you. It should be what you actually want, not what social media has kind of made you want, if that makes sense. Now, I want to talk about the benefits of carving your own path. When you do that, you live in alignment with yourself. So you are authentic. This authenticity brings a deeper sense of fulfillment to your life because your actions, your goals and decisions will actually reflect who you are. You're no longer living to please other people, but to satisfy your own soul. And secondly is true success. S success is not one size fits all. By defining success for yourself on your own terms, you can pursue goals that truly matter to you, leading to a more meaningful and satisfying life. Because true success is about achieving what is important to you, not what others expect or what others have as success, right? So if one guy wants to make a million dollars, that doesn't mean you have to make a million dollars just because you're his friend, for example, right? Things like that. Because a lot of people, they just want and think that they have to do things that another person is doing. Even, you know, especially because someone who's close to them, for example. So find out what is truly important to you, what brings you fulfillment, and then go grind for that thing. Now, how do you carve your own path then? Well, like I just talked about shortly, firstly, we need to define our values. So 
think about what is your core values? What is most important to you? What do you want from life? The way you would do this ideally would be to have a list of your goals and then look at them and think, is this a goal that is aligned with my values? Is this something that I want to do because I have a passion for it? Or is this something that I want to do because I saw that someone else is doing it? Or that someone else wants me to do it? Things like that will find you the answers to greater fulfillment and direction in life. Secondly is question the status quo. Don't be afraid to question the expectations. Ask yourself, why are certain things in life considered normal and whether they truly resonate with you? By doing this, you can break free from limiting, limiting beliefs and discover new possibilities. For example, a lot of people are now starting to think that smoking and drinking at a young age is very normal and okay. Now, instead of just going out and doing that immediately, you might want to ask yourself, do I think that this is something that is, that is an activity that I should be involved in? Do I think that this will fill me up uh, with fulfillment? Do I think this will make me happy? Do I think in the future that this is going to be something I'm proud of or I'm happy that I did? Does this leave me closer to my goals? Stuff like that, right? And then you will really, when you do that with most things in life, you will start to realize what is truly, what truly matters to you and what doesn't. Third is to take risks. Because when you create your own path, it requires risks. And it requires stepping into the unknown. Embrace the uncertainty and do not be afraid to fail. Because each step you do take, even if it is a misstep, brings you closer to discovering your path and your purpose. And last but definitely not least is to surround yourself with like-minded people. When you're going on your own path, it means often, but not always, that you're going to go against the norm. That doesn't mean you have to do it alone. So you can surround yourself with people who actually support your journey and share similar values. Because connections like this can last a lifetime and provide you with encouragement, inspiration, and guidance as you forge your path of life. So remember, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. Peace.